Okay, I want us to check over the uh, slides on the end of the distributed property slide. I started grading these and there was a lot of mistakes. Okay, I want to make sure you guys are catching on to this before we go on. Okay, so number one, 5x plus 3 times x minus 1 plus 6. Okay, to simplify this, we first want to use the distributor property. And it helps me to kind of visualize the distributor property with these arrows. Okay, what we're going to do, okay, we're going to think about taking that number outside of your parentheses and multiplying it to both parts. Okay, we have a positive 3 times x. Okay, make sure you put a positive or negative symbol as you do this in front of things. So that's a positive 3x. Positive 3 times x is a positive 3x. Okay, now we have a positive 3 times a negative 1. We've got to think of that as a negative 1, guys. A positive 3 times a negative 1 is a negative 3. That's just doing the parentheses. We have positive 3x and then a negative 3. Now I need to take the stuff, other stuff and bring it down. I've got to take that 5x and bring it down. And I've got to take that positive 6 on the end and bring it down. Okay, so now I have 5x plus 3x minus 3 plus 6. I'm going to try to separate a little bit so my little... Um, highlighting squares won't run into each other as bad. Okay, so next thing I want to do after the distributor property, that's called the distributor property, is I want to combine my x's and my numbers together. So you can use these little square highlighters if you want. Okay, my 5x and my positive 3x, those are like terms because those are both regular I'm sorry, those are both terms that have an x attached. And then the negative 3, a little smaller, and the positive 6 are like terms because those are regular numbers. So I just combine these together. 5x added to 3x is 8x. And then I have a negative 3 plus a positive 6. Okay, we're going to add those together. Guys, when you add a negative and a positive, you subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So 6 minus 3 is 3. The bigger number is positive, so it's a positive 3. Okay, so we get 8x plus 3. Okay, problem 2. Okay, 2 minus 4 times x plus 1 plus 7x. Okay, I'm going to take my little arrows, bring them down. I'm going to use the distributor property first, which means take the number outside of your parentheses and multiply it to both parts. you got to always use the signs in front of things, though, guys. So I want to think of this as a negative 4 times x. Just mush those two things together, negative 4x. And then I have a negative 4 times a positive 1. Okay, the signs are different, so that's a negative 4. So just doing the distributor property gives me negative 4x minus 4. Now I need to bring down everything else. I've got to bring down that 2 at the beginning. I've got to bring down that positive 7x at the end. Oh, whoops. Positive 7x. So now I have 2 minus 4x minus 4 plus 7x. Okay, now we want to combine our like terms together. Okay, I'm going to uh, do my purple, cover up my x terms in purple. And I'm going to cover up my regular numbers in orange. Because so I want to combine my like terms together. Oh, well, good enough. Okay, when I combine my x's together, I have a negative 4x added to a positive 7x. Always look at the signs in front of things. A negative 4x added to a positive 7x. Subtract and keep the bigger sign because the signs are different. Okay, 7 minus 4 is 3. 
the bigger number is positive, so it's 3x. Okay, then combine your 2 and your negative 4 together. Add a 2 and a negative 4 together. Okay, same idea. You're adding a positive and a negative, so you subtract them and keep the sign of the larger number. Okay, 4 minus 2 is 2, but the bigger number is negative, so it's negative 2. Your answer is 3x negative 2, which is the same thing as 3x minus 2. Okay, let me know if you have questions on these.